Hi guys, hope you're having a good day today. Today I'm going to be doing um, like my everyday makeup drawer, except I don't keep mine um, in a drawer. I keep mine on my vanity over here. So um, I'm going to call it my everyday makeup drawer for right now. Hopefully I can switch it into a drawer and I can start showing you like that sometime or something like that. Anyway, uh, one of my favorite people to watch uh, these types of videos, her name is Andrea or Andrea, no, Andrea, uh, Matilo, I don't know quite how you pronounce her name, but I'll link her channel down below, she posts one of these every month, I love her, her video, her channel, she posts amazing content, she's great, I absolutely love her, so at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you products that I've just been using, like, week after week, month after month, um, right now I'm pale since it's winter time, so I've been just using some of the same products just because it's winter time but when I do change it up I'll let you know so a few of these are going to be staples so um so for like foundation I've been using the CC cream by it cosmetics I'm in the shade fair this matches me really well it's very yellow and I have more of a cool undertone but it blends and it looks really nice so I use that every time I wear makeup um two primers I use the baby skin by Maybelline and then the original um, Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer. And then to fill in my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Soft Brown. I finally hit um, pan on this. This is taking me forever to use, oh my goodness. Uh, and then for a primer, I've just been using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is great, I really like this. Um, and I've been trying out false lashes a little bit to see if I like them. Um, but then the mascara I've been using is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is really nice. It gives some really awesome volume and yeah, I really do enjoy it. And then for setting sprays, I use the Wet n Wild Natural Finish. That's one of my favorites. I'm almost done with this, so I'm going to use that up. Or I use the Mario Rose Spray. So those are products that I use. Um, almost all the time. Like I, I'm not going to change that for probably a month or two, so I won't show those every video. Okay, and then next, um, my mom got me this for um, Christmas. It's a thing to put keep your makeup in. So let me show you. I'm going to start in one of the smaller compartments. Um, so first I have the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Tropic Hues. Um, next I have City Color B Matte Blush in Blackberry. I dropped it and broke it, but that's the color. It's beautiful. I love these blushes. I'd like to order a few more. They're amazing and so, so soft. Next I have two highlighters from Wet n Wild. The first one is their newest shade in Diamond Lily. And this is really pretty if you like sheer it out. It's so gorgeous. Next is my favorite from them, and that is in... Blossom Glow. It's a really beautiful light pink color. It's so, so pretty. I love it. And then um, the last thing in first compartment is the, this Fiona Styles Matte Blush in Sweet Water. This uh, looks a lot like Benefit's Dandelion, so if you have that, you, you definitely wouldn't need this, but this is a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. Next in the other small compartment... I have the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid Concealer in Peach. Um, this is alright. Um, I will say I like the Physicians Formula one better, but I this is okay. Um, I'll use it up and probably would not repurchase, um, but it does blend out nicely and everything. And then next for concealer, I've been using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Fair. I've been using that. It's really nice. Um, I do want to purchase the shape tape again to have like two options, one more full coverage and one, not as full coverage, Maybelline one's probably more medium. Alright, and then next I have a mini of the Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. It's really cute. I actually like using this for under my eye because it really locks everything in and I don't have any creasing or anything, so I do enjoy that for that reason. Next I have the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer. But that is what it looks like. It's great. It's a really nice powder. It's really pretty. Next, um, I have the e.l.f. Color Correcting Powder. And I hit pan on that. I love this powder. It's so nice. It feels so lovely on the face. I just, I can't say enough about good things about this powder. 
The next, um, this is the Smashbox Step by Step Contour Stick at the Highlight Shade. Um, this I will use, um, I don't know, I use, the, this is a really, like, full coverage concealer. Sometimes I might use this for some discoloration. Um, so something like that. Or, I don't know, maybe around a pimple. Sometimes I'll dab it on there and that works out really well. If you hear any sounds, by the way, that's why I paused a second ago. Um, I do have the window open because it's pretty nice where I live right now. Um, so if you hear airplanes or anything going by, that is why. So I would tell you that. Alright, next in the bigger compartment right here, um, I have a eyeshadow stick by Maybelline. This is Color Tattoo and Pink Parfait. So that is what it looks like. Uh, next... Whenever I film, my phone goes off. Let me, okay, vibrate and put that on vibrate. All right, next I have the MAC Strobe Cream. That is what it looks like. This uh, is okay. I don't think I would repurchase after I use this up. Nothing that great. Um, uh, next, I love this shadow. I feel like I've talked about this a good bit. It's Midnight Cowboy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm wearing that today on my eyes. And I'm also wearing um, Smoky. Mauve by MAC. I'm wearing the two of them together. They're a gorgeous duo. Next, I have um, Wet n Wild in... What is this? I don't know what this one's called. I want to say like Toffee or something like that. But it's a really pretty color. Next, I have... Um, oh, Butter London Eye Gloss in Icing. That's what color it is. It's really pretty. I kind of like... Um, purplish pink tones slash silver and stuff like that for my eyes in case that wasn't obvious. Um, and then next I have this loose shadow. It's in a marble smoke. So let me, it's kind of a grayish green color. It's really pretty. All right, next we're going to move into the palette. So that's part. Um, we'll start with the big one. That's the Beauty and the Beast, um, palette collaboration with The Rock. So, this is a beautiful palette. It's great. It's similar to the Pro Formula, but it's not exactly the same, but it's close. Um, next, I have the Lorac Pro Shadow, um, the first one, um, this palette. That's, I'm wearing um, light pink and then mauve on my eyes today, and then, of course, white on my brow bone. I'm wearing those three colors today, and, yeah, it's really it's a really nice palette. I do enjoy it. I'm glad I picked it up. Next, I have the Tarte Tarte's Pro To Go palette. I love this palette. I love the formula. It's amazing. It's one of my go-tos. Next, I have these two quads from Suspicions Formula. This is part of their, I guess it was because it came out last year, their 80th collection, 80th year collection, whatever you want to call it. So I got both of them. And let me tell you, the sparkles in here and the mattes are both really great. The white one is a little patchy. Not patchy, but it's a little more difficult than the gold. But they're both amazing. So I do enjoy that. I might get the other matte quad. I know there's two more. Uh, I might get one of those too because I enjoy that. And let me tell you, the light purple here is beautiful. This one is pretty, but it's kind of boring in a way. Um... But it, it, they're really nice. I have used these already. Um, I want to use them some more. And they're, they're really great. This formula did a great job. Alright, now on to face palettes. I have four to show you. This one is by Beauty Gems. It's, I don't think it has a name. Um, but it's, this brand comes to Ulta during um, Christmas time. So, yeah, the blushes in here are great. They're a little difficult to blend. But they're pigmented. They're beautiful. Um, so I really enjoy them. They're beautiful. This is a really nice palette. Um, I do really enjoy that. Next, I have the parts of the Caribbean face palette. I love this. Uh, this was one of the best things The Rock has ever put out. I'm wearing, um, Destin right here as my highlight today. And then, uh, I'm wearing, um, Fortune as my inner corner highlight for my eyes. And this is just a great palette. You can use that shadow, blush, you know, you can, it has so many purposes. It's wonderful. Next, I have the 
Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. I got this for Christmas and I have not been able to stop using this since I got it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm wearing these two blushes today. It's amazing. It's wonderful. The packaging is gorgeous. I love it. And uh, the last palette is the NYX Color Correcting Palette. I for I used this today and I forgot how much I love this palette. These are so these are very thick. You just need a little bit and you just blend it out and it makes you look wonderful. I love this. Um, so I'm really glad I pulled that out. And then the um, last two things are new. Where is the other one? Okay. Um, I got my sister got me this one for um, Valentine's Day. She sent my parents and I a little package. Um, this is the one of their new liquid highlights. This is in holographic. And then um, my mom got me Blossom Glow for Valentine's Day, and I already had it. So we took it back, and she let me exchange it for. This one in Halo Goodbye. I love this color. I love both of them. They're beautiful. So that was the products I'm going to be using for this month-ish or so. I'll post one of these about once a month. Um, so, yeah. Um, that, that's the makeup I plan on using. Um, this is what the container looks like, by the way. So, I realized I forgot to say what I'm doing for lip products. So, anyway, I was editing this editing this video um going through it and checking it and i realized i forgot to talk about lip products so um lip products i've been changing up a lot but one staple i've been using are my went wild lip liners they came out with more on ulta's website and went wild is also now available in most if not all ulta stores which makes me so excited because i love that brand so i have almost all of their shades um let me show you some of my favorites um, Plum Together. I love that shade. This red is great. What is this called? Red the Scene. Um, I love both of these shades. They're very similar. Um, one of them is um, Never Petal Down. And then, what is this one? I think Flamingos. So I love these. I love all of these. Um, here are some of the others. This is... Lay Down the Mauves. I really like that one. Bear to Comment. Um, and they have bright pink, which I can't wait to wear. I can't. Pink Electro. Oh my gosh. These are just great. Um, this one. Doll in Love Again. This one is a weird shade. Uh, Sand Nudes. It looks weird on me, but you know, I like it. I love this formula. So these have been staples. Um, I'm sure next month I will have more products. But I've been testing these out. I love these. I might do a video on them. They're amazing. So, anyway. I uh, hope you all have a good week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.